Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube channel. Like, not another YouTube channel, but another YouTube video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. This one is on the Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machine. Uh, what I'm going to do is just give you the basics on how to thread this machine. Um, I think other machines are similar. So if yours look like this, you know, just follow along. So um, you always got to have your bobbin. You know what I'm saying? So my bobbin has been pre-wound already. If you want me to give you a video in regards to how to um, wind this bobbin up, click that like button, double tap it, create like five accounts, hit the like button, subscribe five times. All right. So what you're going to be doing is, um, all right, so this has to be going counterclockwise. So, you know, you know, that's clockwise right there. This is counterclockwise. So we're going to reverse. Okay. Um, we're going to pop that in there like so. Scoot. Scoot. All right, and you see this little dot here? I'm gonna get my scissors. It's like a little groove right here that I want you to, um, I want you to drive that string on over. You got me? So drive that string on over, okay? Make it click. You not make it click, but let me get in focus, see if y'all can see that, all right. So yes, yeah, swing it on over. And you're gonna be, you know, bring it back over here on top of that. And just leave it in this little, this little position, you know, leave it in that little position right there. All right. So now that you done left it in that little position, just don't fuck with that. All right. Okay. So now we're going up here. We got our thread, right? So this is telling me, it's telling me, hey, um, yeah, this is step one. Okay. Then step two wants me to bring it around here right is telling me to bring it around all right step three i'm gonna bring it down bring it down we gonna slide slide it on down see step four scoop all right and a little bit is gonna get tricky right but you see this part this is a little tricky part you go over here if that is the, if that position is not up you go over here you know this little this little joint here so you twist it until you see that so you see it coming up yeah you see all right so now we back where we at step four back at step four so we have step four now we go to step five we're going to wrap it around loop 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 all right Cause that jank used to screw with me all the time. All right, so stick six. This is a tricky step two, all right? So the goal is to get it behind this here. Y'all see this little, this little funky groove? Get it behind there. So what I do is, um, you know, bring that joint around like shit. Yeah. All right, this is another funky little step, right? So the next goal is to get it behind this right here. Got to get it behind that. So what I'm going to do, um, since I'm only since I only have one hand available, I'm going to try my best to kind of record this so you can see it. Um, but essentially, what you're going to end up doing is looping that jump underneath there. So. Uh, bear with me one moment. Let me see if I can kind of get this hooked up to kind of see where, uh, if y'all can see it. All right, so I'm gonna put this on my little tripod joint. Okay. All right. All right, can we see this? Hopefully y'all can see that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is this. All right, so now it's, it's back there. Okay. All right, so it's underneath there. It's underneath there. All right, so let me take it off my tripod. All right, so that, that thread is underneath 
that little spot where I was trying to get you to, you know, put it at. All right, so this step right here, um, this step really blew me out. Like, I had my machine for a hot minute, and I didn't use it for a while, so all because of this. Like, I wasn't threading it right. So what you do with this, all right, you drag that joint over. Okay. All right, hook it on in. Hook it that way. I'm only working with one hand. Fuck. Let's see if we could do this with one hand. I need an assistant. That's what I need. God damn, it's like a maze. All right, let me put this back on my tripod. Okay. There we go. All right, so hopefully y'all can see this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, zoom in like that. Back up a little bit. All right. So we're going to go down with this. Okay. Okay. Loop it around the bottom. And then bring it back around. And then hook it underneath here. And that's going to allow the the string to hook in the back. I hope that was clear. All right. Okay, so that was clear. That was clear. So let me zoom out for you. All right, so then we're gonna pull that string back. All right. Now here goes another tricky spot. Very tricky, very, very tricky. So I'm gonna go cut this excess string off. I'll cut that off, because I don't need all that, you know, all that stuff. Or you can bring it, you can bring it around there to cut it off too. Um, but this is kind of tricky right here. So what I'm gonna do is, um, you have to turn, so with this like that, this is exposed, right? The, the lid isn't on there. This isn't on there yet. Um, this is properly threaded, right? You're gonna turn this wheel counterclockwise, okay? Let's see if I can get on the first try. So what's gonna end up happening is this bobbin is gonna catch. Something is happening, but okay. All right, something is happening. Okay. Let's see if we can kind of pull that on through. Okay, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go, right there. That's what I'm talking about, right there. So once it catches, just bring all that on in. Bring it on through. See, mine's done messed around. It got tangled up a little bit. But essentially, what you want it to look like is um, you want this thread to be on the bottom, going through the bottom and through this hole here, okay? Through that hole right there. And this on the top and going through this little back section right here, okay? And then you shoot these to the back. Okay, let me pop this lid on like so. I might not have it on right, but uh, yeah, pop the lid back on. Damn, can't get the lid on. All right, we got the lid on. All right, so the lid is on. See if I can, hopefully I'm explaining this, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I'm, I'm explaining this properly. But you see what I'm saying? At first that was on top. You know, that was on top. At this position, right? Now it's underneath. You see? And this was, this was somewhere. But now, you know what I mean? This is like aligned with it. 
So we're good. We're pretty much good. Cut the excess off. Shoot them back to the back. And what we're gonna do is a test stitch. So, you know, I got a, a little tester. Um, my length, my width is gonna be zero. I'm still playing around with this, but it seems like, you know, if you adjust that, the width, you know, it makes wider stitches, but I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. This is the needle position. It positions the needle left to right. You see, left, right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep it in the middle. The tension, I usually keep it around four. You know what I'm saying? It's been working for me. The length, I'm gonna keep it at one. Keep it at one. And what I'm gonna be doing is a straight stitch. That's like for buttonholes. We're gonna do straight stitch. Okay? All right, so. All right, so I'm gonna put my foot down. And this is what you call the moment of truth, right? And if you don't know the foot, the pressure foot is in the back. Clamp that junk down, scoop. All right, I got my Jesus slippers on, okay? All right. So then what we're gonna do is press it on down and we got our bobbin in place. We got our top thread in place. So we're just gonna sew. And then we gotta make sure the stitch is strong. So we always gotta do a back, a back stitch. Got your stitch your your machine is operating it seems like you can you know what i'm saying you should be functional enough to kind of you know um go to the next step with this this should be a good tutorial hopefully you learn something hopefully you got your machine up and working again um yeah and once again hit the like button if you like this video let me know what i should do more of let me know um you know what i'm saying tell your friends to subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more ideas for videos. And see, that's perfect right there. All right, so last step. Just cut this joint off. With a lot of people on YouTube, I've been watching a lot of people on YouTube, they just bring it around here and um, let the machine do the cutting. So we're gonna let the machine do the cutting. And we have a straight stitch. What you call it? a straight stitch. Looks nice straight stitch nice and strong nice and strong stitch let me show you the, so i can show that durability on that stitch uh, yes sir yes sir okay all right look a little bit yeah, that's good right there all right um like comment subscribe to the channel peace